This is not a full training document on IPv6. It is sufficient information for an enterprise architect to select private or unique local IPv6 addresses. You will need these for your domain controllers and similar fixed private IPv6 addresses. IPv4 addresses look something like this. This is a decimal representation of a 32-bit binary number. Here is the binary number this particular IPv4 represents. This binary number could also be converted to hex for use within an IPv6 address. If your site has public IPv6 addresses, then they will contain a 40-bit unique global ID. The IPv6 address displayed is usually used for documentation. You can convert your site IPv6 prefix to binary to identify the 40 bits making up this unique global ID. Your unique global ID may be used within your unique local address. Reusing the unique global ID part of this public IPv6 prefix we can create our own unique private IPv6 prefix. This is how RFC 4193 defines local IPv6 addresses. The global ID should be unique for each site and constant across the site. If you do not have a public IPv6 prefix, then you will need to generate a temporary global ID to use until one is issued to your site. There are a number of random number local IPv6 address generators available. They produce a prefix in the FD range. You could pick a generator and get a private IPv6 prefix. The prefix you generate does not need to be globally unique. It only needs to be unique for each site within your extended organizational environment, including partner organizations. Your network engineer probably manages the issuing of subnets, including IPv6 subnet IDs. A random IP prefix generator will get you a unique local address, something like this random number, representing the first 64 bits of an IPv6 address. This part is constant for the site. FD identifies this prefix as being a unique private IPv6 prefix. The highlighted part is the randomly generated global ID. And this part identifies a random subnet. For fixed IPv6 addresses, you can combine this with filler of 32 zeros and the 32 bits from the IPv4 address to give a unique IPv6 address that is easy to document. So in hex, this particular unique local IPv6 address would be as displayed. You don't need to use a random 
IPv6 generator. You can simply create your own partially random IPv6 prefix. Add in a site identifier and a subnet ID. Using this prefix combined with your IPv4 address will give you adequate unique local IPv6 addresses. Be aware that if your numbering scheme is too simple, then you risk the same number being used by a corporate business partner. If your business partners have remote access to your site, then there is potential for an IP conflict.